Hello and welcome to Krinuna Nob 2020 and welcome to Nature Ninjas. My name is Neve, and I am in fact sitting inside a wooden box at this very moment. It is part of our mud kitchen uh, at a forest school where lots of kids have come over the years and uh, enjoyed the space. So I'm really happy to be sharing it with you guys now. And over the next little while, I am delighted to be able to share with you some ideas and games and skills that you can practice yourself to fine tune your nature ninja skills. Yes, and these nature ninja skills are really, really helpful in your everyday life. They can really help you to just tune in and know and listen to what you really need to feel well, which is awesome. So, so yeah, so we're going to start off by getting into our bodies because sometimes when we're frustrated or angry or bothered or just worried about certain things, not feeling in the best that we can feel, then if we get into our bodies and shake it off or run and jump and move around a little bit and stretch and shake, then we can actually feel an awful lot better. So we're going to start there and I'm going to start by sharing with you one of my favorite little movement shake-offs which is called the rubber's chicken. So get yourself standing up and I will see you there. Okay ninjas, are we ready to get started? Okay, finding yourself a place to stand, wherever that is, it's just right. Getting our hands together, getting some heat, some ninja heat. Together and then we're just going to rub our heads a little bit, good morning head, and our face, all the bits of our face, Doo -doo 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 -doo. around your jaw, and your ears, and your neck, shoulders, shoulders, chest and belly, and rubbing it all, good morning, good morning body, good morning body. Excellent. Okay, we're ready. Now, taking your position, what we're going to do is we are going to move our body, hands and legs, until we are rubber chickens. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, one, one. One, 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 one. one. Oh, rubber chicken! <laughs> Check it out! Shake it up! Shake it down! Shake it out! Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it! Oh. And then, bringing your rubber chicken to a little slow stop. We're going to breathe in. And when you breathe out, you can make whatever sound you like. again. And one more time. Excellent. Okay ninjas, you're ready for the next challenge. So now I am going to share with you a movement story. So this is just a little idea to get your body moving and to begin to try out the shapes of different animals and have a little bit of fun when you're doing it. And feel free uh, when you're doing this yourself to take as long as you want doing it or as short as you want doing it. Add in your own animals, try them out, um, have some fun with it, yeah. And there, you can do it inside, you can do it outside, wherever you are, it's just perfect to try it out. So have some fun. Okay, get yourself standing and I'll see you there. Once upon a time in the beautiful Himalayan mountains, the sun was rising on another wonderful day. All the birds and flowers and animals were stretching. And among these animals was the very rarely spotted and very beautiful snow leopard. And the snow leopard was arching its back and stretching to greet the day and decided that today was the day that it wanted to go and meet some other animals to play with. So step by step, 
the snow leopard made its way down the mountain and then it came upon a wolf and the wolf was also strange and the wolf said that it would love to come with the snow leopard so together they continued to step down the mountains but then quickly they had to hide because there in front of them there was a cobra but the cobra also wanted to play so the cobra the snow leopard and the wolf decided that they would play but just as they were about to start their game they couldn't believe their eyes because there in front of them there came the most unusual animal never seen before in the Himalayas it was indeed a camel and it walked forward and it walked backwards and off it's back. They're jumped. Bah! The most beautiful toad. So now there are five. And they decided that it was time to play their most favorite game, rolling in the grass. So they rolled. And they rolled. And then they lay with the sun on their face and the earth on their backs. And then they heard woo -woo, meow, their call. It was time for their tea. So they got themselves up and began once more to walk up to the top of the mountain. And they got there just as the sun was setting to mark the end of another very beautiful day. Okay, ninjas, well done. We are now in our bodies, we have shaken off whatever's been bothering us and we are ready to go a little bit deeper into the plant and animal kingdom. You see, sometimes we forget to look around the other things sharing this beautiful world with us, like there's a fox glove here beside me and the fern and a spider is weaving its web. And we forget to look around at all these things around us to see what they might be able to teach us. But if we take some time to actually sit and notice and observe, we can learn so much from the animal and plant kingdom. And today we are going to look at two of those animals to practice some skills that we may be able to share and practice in our own human lives. So these are owl eyes and fox's walk. So an owl has amazing vision. As well as being able to turn its neck whoo, 360 and see all around it, it can also look straight ahead but be able to see out here at the same time which is brilliant because then you have a lovely wide perception, a big wide vision of things. It's not just what's in front of you, it's also all this other stuff that's all around you that you can see at the same time. And we, as humans, can do that if we practice. So the way we practice our owl eyes is that we get our wiggly fingers in front of us and then we can move them out. So we're looking ahead, but we're also trying to see how far back can we move our wiggly fingers and still keep them in vision. And if it goes too far, you move them forward and so on. So this is a great little challenge for you ninjas. You have to get yourself outside or not. You can do this inside with your fingers equally as well or into the garden or when you're next out in nature and try and walk straight ahead, keeping your eyes straight ahead and see how many things you can see at the side of your vision at the same time. And you can try this going forward and you can try this going backwards. So ninjas, Get your owl vision on. So the next animal skill
skill I want to share with you guys is the fox's walk. Foxes are amazing hunters. They are really, really cunning and they're excellent at moving quietly through spaces. And that is something that we could learn a lot about because often when humans arrive into nature spots, we get so excited and we shout and we thump and we run and we bang that all the wildlife are terrified and have run for the hills. So we're going to practice the fox's walk as a way to just be, move quietly through spaces. Um, it's really fun to do if you have kind of sticks that you might crack under your feet because then you have to get really good at it. And it's also a really great game to play with your family or friends where one of you are a deer and the rest are foxes and you have to creep up using your fox's walk and the deer turns around if they hear you and if they see you move, you have to freeze them when they turn around and if they see you move, then you gotta go back to uh, the beginning uh, and try again. So have fun with the fox's walk. Okay ninjas, so now it's time to fine tune your senses. Often we depend on our sight and our hearing to kind of understand the world around us, but we also have our taste and our smell and our touch. And with a bit of practice, we can kind of fine tune these and use them more in our lives, which kind of gives our experience, gives everything a little bit more color, like loads of different flavors, you know, like to the world. and. It's like developing a superpower, so it's well worth giving it a go. So I want to share with you two games. The first game is called Find a Tree. So you are led, you go to a place where there's more than one tree and with a blindfold on, you are brought to one of these trees that you must explore using your touch and your smell or whatever other senses you want to tune on at that point. And then you're brought away from that tree and the blindfold is taken off and you have to see, can you pick out that tree using all your senses? And the next game involves a drum. So somebody is in a space with a drum and you're blindfolded and other people, more than one person can play this game and you're blindfolded and you're placed around the space in different places. Maybe you want to spin around after you put your blindfold on. Maybe you want to take a little twirl just to get a little bit disorientated, just to make it a little bit more fun. And then the person with the drum is doing this and you have to see, can you find your way to that drum? Uh, and it's really fun. It's a really fun game. So I would say it is time to come to your senses. Have fun. Okay, so we have arrived at our final Nature Ninja Challenge. And this challenge is called a sit spot. So with a sit spot, you need to find yourself a place in nature that you can go and sit on your own for around 10 minutes. And when you're here, you just have to listen and observe. Maybe you can try and see what's the furthest sound I can hear. What's the closest sound I can hear. What's the nearest thing I can see or the furthest thing I can see. You might want to imagine yourself as a small animal and see what the place would look like if you were a little tiny mouse, if you were a large badger. You could bring a book, write some words, sketch some pictures. Whatever it is, the most important thing is that you just turn up and sit down and wait and listen and watch. And if you manage to do this and visit your sit spot different weeks and different weathers and different days, I know that you will be on top of your game and you will know what to choose so you can feel well 
you will feel gratitude for this beautiful, beautiful world and know that you belong here. So get yourself a wee sit spot and enjoy. And thank you so much for turning up and trying on your nature ninja skills and have fun with them in the next little while. And I'm gonna leave you guys with a few sights from my sit spot and a wee song, which is a call and response song. It's birds calling out to each other called Chile. Okay, so thanks again and have fun. Bye bye ninjas. Silly, like you're calling out to the woods. Silly, silly.